Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here again with another Game Finds video. And we also got more packages in from some of the trades that we uh, did today. Or not today, in the last couple weeks, from some uh, great YouTubers. Uh, each of them deserves a great shout out. And I also did a trade with one of my, one of my good friends, Dr. Reaper Zero, too, as well. So I'm going to go straight off into the trade packages first, then we'll go into Game Finds. So the first trade package that I received t uh, a couple days ago, or actually today, I believe, was uh, Mr. Gameplay 33. Yeah, he's a great YouTuber. I've watched a lot of his channels, a lot of his pickups. He's got good stuff. I already cut it open a little bit, so I wasn't sitting there struggling with it. So now I'm just going to tear it open. And this came from Mr. Gameplay33. He's a very cool dude. There we go. Let's see. All right. And I, I, you can check out his channel to see what I traded to him. And I, what I got in return was I, I'm actually starting to collect this because I, ha I have all the PS2 versions. But he traded me Dynasty Warriors 4 on Xbox, and it, it looks complete. Oh, and it says Read Me on the inside. Okay. Thank goodness I opened it up. There we go. So let's see. Read Me. All right. Hey, man. Thanks a lot for the trade. Glad my first trade on YouTube was with an awesome YouTuber like yourself. Thank you. Cue the awesome videos. Sorry it took so long. I understand, dude. I totally understand shipping and everything. And it also, you know, coming from where you are at, it is definitely a pain because of all the customs issues that it has to go through. So I totally understand how long it can take sometimes. No problem. Thank you, Mr. Gameplay33. Big shout out to him. I appreciate being your first trader. Thank you, man. Thank you. So I'm going to set that down there. I'm going to hang on to your note, put it in my little box. I'll set that down there, and I'll just put this right here. So next up, from another great YouTuber, is for, uh, I'll... I know, I know him real well. He's a good friend. I chat, I talked to him a lot, and I sent, I sent him a couple, I sent him a game, but he, I sent him a game as a gift one time, and he sent me this as a, as a gift, and I just helped pay for it a little bit, but not much. But it was, he found it for me, and he knows I'm a big fan, so he bought it, he bought it for me, and I, I mailed you the letter, dude. Do not worry. It's R U Serial I B R O. He's a great YouTuber to check out and watch. I already cut it open a little bit, and I already know what's supposed to be in here, so. I'm, so happy he sent it to me. And I'm just looking for a note and I don't see one. No problem, I understand. Sometimes it's hard to send notes out. And he sent me Nobunaga's Ambition on Super Nintendo and it's obviously complete because it's very heavy. I could feel the weight on it. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, it's got all the stuff in there. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I appreciate you sending it out. And I'm sorry about that mis that misread a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I it was probably my fault a little bit on that one because of what happened, just how it happened. But thank you so much. I appreciate the game. This is definitely going in my collection of Koei and Nobunaga's Ambition. Thank you. And then the last one is from a great YouTuber named Anonymous Revelations. And Jason's been looking forward to this one for quite a while. He's, su he's super excited. He's been trying to beg me to open it right now, but I've been able to hold him off for as long as I can. But now he's probably ready to tear at it. Because we got this one a little while ago, probably on Saturday, I believe, or something like that. So, But thank you, Anonymous Revelations, another great YouTuber. He sent this out, and it arrived fairly quickly. So I'm just going to tear it open, and he gift-wrapped it. That's a great, good person. Oh, there we go. And then it came... Oh, it's sealed as well. Okay. All right. Luckily, I got scissors here just in case. I knew it might come in handy. There we go. Ah, popcorns and a letter. Hey guys, thanks for the trades. I'm always on the lookout for SNES games I don't have. Your channel is great. Keep up the awesome vids. Thank you, Anonymous Revelations. I appreciate it so much. Down, Peanut. Down, Peanut. I'll set that down right there next to the other one. And check out his channel for what we sent him in trade. But what we got, what we got in return was Road Rash 2. I'll just pop this open real quick. There's no point in struggling with it, realistically. We, uh... Traded, he traded us Sword of Vermilion on Sega Genesis and Road Rash 2 on Sega Genesis. Two great games. He also traded us Prince of Persia Complete on Sega Genesis. And the one that Jason's been definitely pounding me on is the Ghostbusters on Sega Master System. He's been wanting this to play this game forever. He's been like p just pestering my butt about it. So there's that one and then the peanuts back go in, return. There we are. And the last one 
is an Atari cart, and it is Atari 2600 Sword Quest Fire World. We had, we already had the Earth one, so this one definitely helps complete fire, the other one that we needed. So that was it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Anonymous Revelations, great YouTuber to trade with. Very quick on the shipping and handling and everything. Thank you so much. So great people to trade with right there. And I got another trade. Now, I bet if some people watch Anonymous Revel or not Anonymous, sorry, not, not Anonymous, but um, Dr. Reaper Zero, he's a friend of mine. Um, he goes hunting with me a lot. And Jay, with me and Jason and Joel, he, he's a great YouTuber. He's just kind of started his channel. He's got like four or five game find videos up. He traded me because he found this, and I kind of begged, but I he traded me Dynasty Warriors on PSP. And you can definitely check out his channel to what I gave him. I already get we luckily we live in Tualatin, so we're okay in Oregon because we then it makes it easy to trade. Let me tell you, when you're right down, you know, right kind of like neighbors almost. But he traded me Dynasty Warriors on PSP which I appreciate so much because I'm a big P you know, Dynasty Warriors guy, as, as you guys know. So any, and I don't have any PSP. This is my first one on PSP. So real happy about that. There we go. So now on to the game finds. I'll start off with uh, something that, not the game, well, not ga these are gaming related, but not game finds in a sense. I found this at the outlet store in a big bundle and it was 25 cents an issue. So I spent $4 all together because it came to $16, or not 16, it came to 16 issues for $4. But they're old Nintendo powers, really, like, really old. Like, Wario Land, Super Mario 3, Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. NBA Jam Tournament Edition, as well as Portal to Adventure Stargate. Of course, this one says Mortal Kombat 3 and Kirby's Dreamland Wild 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 Woods. And each one of these was 25 cents. So that's a really good deal if you think about it. Super Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo obviously. <laughs> NBA Jam Tournament Edition. WWF Super WrestleMania. Lemmings. Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Ken Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball when he was on the Mariners. That's how old it is. Super Star Wars. Stunt Race X or EX or FX, sorry. Stunt Race FX. Street Fighter 2, regular. Mario Paint. Felix the Cat. And it just hit me in the nose. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And Darkwing Duck. Each issue was 25 cents. I love the older Nintendo powers because it just brings me back to the old days when you used to see these in the stores and they used to sell them and now they, you know, they do but they're not as good as they used to be and that's alright sometimes. And then the last uh, kind of gaming accessory that I picked up that Jason found for me at the outlet store was a $1 Fable 2 strategy guide. A little bent but with time it will probably settle out but $1 Fable 2 strategy guide, there you go. Really, good, really nice deal to pick that up. And then, on to the game finds. Now, I didn't get a whole lot, but it's pretty good. I got one deal from Shop Goodwill. I'll go with that one right now. And basically, every it came to like a grand total of like $11, $12. So basically, every game you see cost me a dollar and like eight cents. So, I'll just kind of go through them. First one was Tasmania. This one is up for trade. I already got like two copies, three copies of this. So this is up for trade, but Tasmania on Sega Genesis. Six pack. This label's kind of messed up. Ariel, the, uh, the Little Mermaid. Tasmania, ex Escape from Mars, and Escape from Mars. Uh, Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. College Slam, this one's up for trade if anyone's interested in it. Kind of a little, little label damage, but. Primal Rage. NBA Jam Tournament Edition, this one's up for trade. Uh, Desert, De Desert Demolition starring Roadrunner and Wild E, Wild e Coyote. Shaq Fu. This one's up for trade if anyone wants it. I doubt it, but you know, it doesn't hurt. Syndicate. And then the two box games that they weren't totally complete. They are missing the manuals, but it's F-22 Interceptor. And LH LHX Attack Chopper. And it flies. There we go. 
Yeah, obviously it flies. So there we go. So LAHX and F22. So that entire bundle came to like a dollar oh eight a game. So really, that's a really good deal. And then another game I picked up at Value Village is uh, one. Of, like, I think it's a must-have, and Jason definitely would agree with me. It's Battletoads on NES. It's a definite must-have, I think, on any NES collection. It's a really good game. Picked it up. Sadly, it did cost me like six bucks, but I was really wanting it, so I picked it up for that. And then the last game that I picked up at the a pawn shop, uh, it called I won't say the name of it. It's just it's uh, one that we usually visit now. It's uh, one of my favorite old fighting games. A lot of people can remember this on the PlayStation demos. Besides Jet Moto 2 and a lot of other demo games, was Bloody Roar. It was a classic fighting game. Uh, you know, you fight as a human and you transform and you're a big animal and you do way more damage. And it's kind of like Tekken-ish fighting style, but for two dollars, it's just like it's like a five to six dollar game. So it was a good deal. So big shout outs to Anonymous Revelations, Mr. Gameplay Thirty Three, Are You Serial IBRO, and Doctor Reaper Zero. You'll find all their links in the below in the link description. And another announcement. Um, I don't know. If anyone's doing this, I don't know what's gonna what people are doing, but on March 31st, I am going with my friends to uh, Seattle to do one day visit of Comic Con. Um, I am a comic book collector. I do buy comic books. I know I don't show them. I know some people would show them on their channels, but I'm a game. You know, it's a game channel. I only show games. I can do a comic book pickup maybe after the Seattle after the Emerald City Comic Con, but we are going March 31st. One day only, Saturday, to Comic Con in Seattle, Washington. I don't know, I forget what time it starts. I think like 9 or 10 a.m. around there. And we'll be there basically all day for that one day because sadly some of us will start, will start working again fairly soon. So that will be an issue. But, anyways, so we will be at the Comic Con in Seattle. So if you guys are going to be there, great. Maybe we can meet up. If not, you know, we're just, we're just going to. Big Comic Con, so on that week probably, there won't be much game finds because I'll definitely be saving money for Comic Con. So we'll see what happens by that point in time. Maybe we'll have some pickups done, but thank you guys. I'll see you guys next week.